Hello, hello, and welcome to a new Disneyland Paris vlog. Day three today, got my Disneyland Paris top on. Um, the time is 7.14. We are currently going down for breakfast. Um, we're a little bit later than yesterday. We got up at the same time, but for some reason it took us a long time to get ready. No idea why, but it's fine. Got my ready ears too. We are just going to pop down, have breakfast in our hotel and then we are going to head to the parks, hopefully make early Magic Hour Wizard Studios. So let's go. Breakfast was delicious again. Um, I had pretty much the same as I did yesterday. Had the sausages, the um, bacon, scrambled egg beans, I had crepes, pancakes, waffle, croissant. Oh, we didn't have a yogurt today, I had that yesterday. Um, but I had apple juice, had a tea, good, it was so delicious. So now, again, you can tell I'm out of breath because we're walking. <laughs> we are walking to um, the park, we're going to studios, walking around the river. Um, but yeah, we're going to go to the park, go to studios. We're hoping to go to Crush's Coaster, but as you guys know, people literally run to it at rope drop. So. But I reckon we'll still do it, unless it's like shot up to 50 minutes straight away. I reckon that we'll still sort of wait just to say that we've done it. Um, and then we'll sort of just move through the park. Um, at 10 o'clock we're going to go get um, Mastercard tickets for uh, Mickey and the Magician. And also one of the Marvel shows, can't remember which one. Um, but one of them. And then we're also going to see the stunt show today. But yeah, that's the plan for like the first part of the the day slash afternoon but we'll see what we get done and yeah we'll take you guys with us so we made it in the park and um, we got to crush's coaster but it's not open during early magic hours um there's been a technical fault so they said it opened by nine um and then at quarter to nine they came round and said that they've had another technical fault and they don't know when it's going to be open um it's now 902 um, but we think we're just gonna stay in the line um, because you guys know how crazy this gets and we're like pretty much at the front so we're gonna plan to stay in the line because I'll show you guys the line now it's crazy so this is literally the line for Crush's Coaster you saw where we, go, we guys were we were right at the front and this is literally the line so I feel like if we leave we're not getting on this today all the way down. Like this, it still keeps going insane. So yeah, I think we will stay. Obviously, we don't be waiting all day, but it goes all the way down here. So yeah, we definitely will be staying in the line, but hopefully not too much longer and it's definitely worth it but pop in the comments below if you guys have been on Crush's Coaster and how long you guys have waited for it what's the longest time let me know so I literally just stopped filming the line of the queue got back to Kevin who is and they said it's open so it's a good thing we waited it's now 9.05 and there's literally like four groups in front of us, so I reckon we'll 100% be done by 20 past nine. Crush's Coaster was amazing. It was so, so good. Literally, I loved it. It's so pretty, it's so fun. Literally, so, so good. So we've done that, um, and then we moved on to Ratatouille, although we did walk the long way around. Um, but we sat in a meal, and um, they showed it in 3D the whole day yesterday and a couple of days last week it was 2D showings um, but they showed it in 3D today and it was really really cool, I loved it um, now we are in the queue for Slinky Duck uh, only 5 minutes and we just booked online Bertie a ticket for Mickey and Friends on my phone and then on Kevin's phone we got a ticket for uh, Buzz or Friends so hopefully, hopefully it's Buzz or Woody. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're doing right now. So we'll quickly go on this and we'll let you know how it was. Yeah. 
Slinky Dog goes a lot faster than it looks. Like, it's crazy. Um, we finished the Slinky Dog and then we went to um, Studio Services to see if we could get the Mickey Magician um, tickets. Turns out that um, the tickets, they give the tickets out from 8.30 when they open at Early Magic Hours. I didn't know that. I thought it was from... I thought it was from 10, but it's not. So they were all gone, but we did get ones for the stunt show. Um, so we'll do that, but we're gonna try and queue up for um, like the showing that we wanted to see anyway. See if we can get in. Fingers crossed we can. I've heard they're all quite good seats, so we'll just do that. Um, but yeah, so the plan is now just to walk around, look at the park, take some pictures, um, yeah, and just see what the rides are. Tower of Terror is a must. So we're definitely going to get that done. And um, we just popped in a few shops. Um, but yeah. but it was Mickey, we'd already met him a few times, so we didn't do that. But just as we were, oh, we then left to go get a drink. A drink in this um, different kind of style hibiscus tea, it's got pomegranate and um, blueberry in, quite nice. Um, so we got that, and then just as we got that, our ticket for Buzz came up. So we went and met Buzz, I'll insert some pictures here. But he was really cool, he was really fun. 
we're back in um, Playland now um, and I think we're just going to do um, see if we can do the parachute drop uh, and then I think we'll make our way round have a look at Tower Terror and stuff like that so we didn't do parachute drop thing because the wait was like 25 minutes so it was far too long so we didn't do that but we went to um, Tower Terror I've been on it before but it was Kevin's first time um, and we loved it, it was so so good um, so before we went on actually we got a fast pass um, and by the time we come off it was time for our fast pass so we quickly used that again so we rode it twice in a row um, and now we are currently queuing for um, Mickey and the Magician tickets the time, the time is 20 to 1 um, but the show doesn't start till 5 past 1 uh, so hopefully we manage to get in to this viewing. Uh, but yeah, it's, I've heard really good things about it, so I'll let you guys know. We got into Mickey! It was literally so, so incredible. It was so good. That like, I can't even explain how good it was. It was like a mixture of French and English, but you still managed to understand what was going on like completely when they were speaking French and things. Um, after that, I couldn't um, actually record anything in there or take pictures. Um, but then after that, we went straight to um, the Marvel show. Um, it was the stunt one, which is really, really cool. It was quite short, it was only 20 minutes and it did like seem super short, but it was good, it was all right. Again, mixture of French and English. Um, a sort of like, a bit harder to follow along for me um, for that one, but oh, Kevin agrees. <laughs> um, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's a bit harder to follow along, um, but I guess if you know the Marvel films, you kind of get a gist of what's going on, but yeah, it wasn't much harder to follow along. Um, and then after that, we quickly sneakily got a um, group cookie, which I will put here, I am group. Um, and then we went straight to another show, the um, motor stunt show with the cars and the bikes and stuff. That was pretty cool. Um, there were lots of like technical talk and stuff, but I said to Kevin, it's probably just where they have to like set up and stuff for the next stunt. But it was pretty cool. Um, after that, we oh while we were waiting for um, the Marvel show, like for us to go in, we got a line bay for Woody. We booked one. So after the three shows, we went uh, met Woody. I will insert pictures here. Um, and yeah, so now we are just doing like the last little rides left in studios. We're just about to go on this, <laughs> the um, flying carpets of Agrabah which is very, very cool. Um, the time is 4.09. Um, but yeah, so after this, we'll probably do a couple more little rides, probably um, the Rock and Roller Coaster, because that's only five minutes a minute, and probably squeeze in a quick Tower Terror before we have dinner. Tonight, it is um, 5 p.m. at Stay Ready, which is super, super cool. We're so excited to try that out. But yeah, we'll keep you updated. Hey guys, so we did um, the flying carpets over Agrabah, which was fab as always. 
Then we went on to Rock and Roller Coaster, which was the first for both of us, um, but it was really, really awesome. Um, very, like, bash your head about, but it was still great. Um, and then we didn't have enough time to squeeze in a um, Tower of Terror, so we went straight to Shea Remy, which was just incredible. The theming is amazing, like it's so lovely there. I'm gonna insert a little clip of the restaurant here and a few pictures. But it was just amazing. The dinner was great. Um, it's not like a massive choice. You've either got um, two choices for starter, main, and dessert for the plus, and then the same for the premium plan. Um, but we ate off the um, plus menu, and it's absolutely fine. It was really, really good. I got the um, like salad. Oh, we can't go out this way, guys. Um, I got the salad thing. Roasted vegetable salad, I think it was, and steak for Maine. And then for dessert, we both shared um, Gustau's, Gustau's? Gustau's um, dessert and also the chocolate mousse. <laughs> Which, yeah, the Gustau's, Gustau's um, thing was basically uh, like perfect rolls which, and like a wafer thing. But it was really, really good, really delicious. Um, but yeah, so that was that. Um, now, for some bizarre reason, I thought um, at Park Closing for Studios, they did like a performance on the um, Tower of Terror. Apparently, that's only for Christmas season. Who knew? Um, but, so now we are just, it's um, 6.40. We are gonna head back to um, our hotel, but first we're gonna walk through the village, have a look at the shops there, um, also maybe pop into sports bar if it's not too busy and have a little drink um, but yeah I think that is the end of our park day but it's been a good day I had spent like the whole time in studios here from 8 leaving like 6 40 so good good day lots and lots of fun but yeah maybe I'll take you through a few shops in the village back at our hotel excuse the state I am very very tired it's been a long couple of days early starts and late finishes but like I said yesterday it is dizzy so it is all good currently in bed the time is
9.15. I have my intense hot chocolate. If you um, stay at a Disney hotel, you get one free hot drink a day with your, um, like, your room key, magic pass that you get into um, the parks with. You get one um, free hot drink a day. So we've been having, like, a little hot chocolate again here before bed. Um, it's actually quite nice. I haven't had the intense one. Today's the first one that I've had it. I normally have the, the regular. But, yeah, it's really good, especially since it's free. So... I'm going to go and have this, but just want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, I hope you are enjoying these vlogs. Again, um, click subscribe if you want to see the rest of the Disney vlogs. And yeah, like, comment, share and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.